I'm Jordan Gamble. I was involved in OCF at the University of Tennessee in Knoxville. As a teenager, I was basically an atheist or agnostic. By the time I get to college, I was always kind of interested in philosophy and I wanted to know about what is the truth, what, you know, how do you live your life and all that. And by the time I get to Tennessee, I was Orthodox for two or three years. So very much a toddler in the faith. That's when I came to OCF. So I applied to grad school and I got in. I looked to see if there's an OCF chapter and there was. I was actually in a relationship with somebody else at this time, um, but it wasn't going well because she was not on board with orthodoxy. And uh, it's becoming more and more serious for me. When I got the OCF, I was thinking, I really hope that there's no like single orthodox women at this OCF. I just hope it's just an all bunch of guys that'll really help like make things a lot simpler for me. And lo and behold, it was basically all women. Most significantly, it was, it was my future wife, Natalie, who I met at the first meeting. One of the good things about OCF was that it really afforded us to get to know each other. Like excuses to actually hang out and, and like have a real meaningful connection. There's this Christmas party and, um, and I was uh, interested in Natalie. She was dressed as Santa Claus for one. We went to this dive bar. To say it was a hole in the wall would, would be giving it accolades. And we went there for karaoke night. I kind of had the uh, people thought as like, you know, quiet and shy engineer type uh, kind of a nerd, which I am. One of my favorite songs, No Scrubs by TLC, was in the was in the menu for a karaoke. I didn't even need to look at the monitor because I knew all the lyrics. And I will say that this really impressed Natalie very much. If it had not been for OCF, then I would not have been there and I would not have been able to make this impression on her. That's just a snippet of, of the kind of um, connections and relationships and the fun that you can have. OCF definitely played a role in, in me growing in my faith because it connects you with people that come from different Orthodox traditions, different parishes, different jurisdictions. You have this um, camaraderie that develops because you, you're you connecting with people that are taking their faith seriously. There were special events um, also that OCF put out. It was Father Anthony Salzman who did a, an iconography workshop. And this was open to the whole public. And actually most of the people that showed up were not Orthodox Christians. This was like a way softly introduce the faith to people and put it on their radar and let them know that there's this rich experience and this rich way of understanding God. And they might not otherwise have gotten that if, if OCF wasn't there to, to put that on. As tough as it is to be a Christian among other Christians, it's even more difficult to be a Christian among non-Christians. At the same time, it's people are hungry for this kind of thing. And OCF provides that space where if you're already Orthodox or you're ortho-curious and you want to find out, you come check it out. But then it's also for us to go out and just to, to say, have you have you heard about the, the fathers and the saints? And I think obviously the dream is that it'd be bigger and more prevalent everywhere. Everybody's always worried about what are their kids going to do uh, when they're out of the house, when they're in college and all these things. And they're worried they're going to fall away from the faith. One of the ways to help prevent this is by helping them develop more programs. I would, I would kind of dream of OCF as, as being almost like a mission parish in a way. Having these kinds of services that you're able to have on campus where the students are, having kind of the, the Bible studies or the patristic studies, and then cultivating the fellowship. We have to be the light in the darkness. This is what we're called to do. This is the Great Commission. There's a lot of competition in the marketplace for different ideas, and not all of them are godly ideas. In my point of view, it's kind of OCS main mission is to be there to say something about that, to say we are here to preserve the integrity of the faith for those that are young, um, that might be weak in the faith, or even those that are strong to give them, you know, some kind of uh, refuge. And we have something to offer. We have the beauty of Christ to offer. And they're not really getting that anywhere else. It's incumbent upon us to, to go out there and spread it. And this can only happen if people, if the parishes, if the people are supporting the mission of OCF, we have to participate and cooperate in God's work here on earth. God just doesn't make things happen. He works through us. And there's so much pressure, you know, to give in to all the passions, to give in to all the selfishness that's out there. And especially now that returning to campus in person with COVID and all of that, there's even more temptation to try to make up for what was lacking last year. And so for the students going back, I would just say, maintain your prayer rule, you know, get connected with the parish, get connected with uh, other Orthodox friends. Yeah, and come together and don't be afraid to to be an apostle, to be a disciple, to be to be a, a myrrh bearer, to be there for Christ when he needs us. And he does need us out there in the college campuses.